Are you tired of manually walking Windows devices through all the initial first run setup steps? What if I told you there's a way you can automate the entire process using just a USB drive? And the best part, all this can be done using a free tool from Microsoft. Today, I'm excited to kick off a three-part video series where we'll be diving into the world of provisioning packages, which can be used to automate the Windows initial out-of-box experience, as well as a bunch of other things like installing applications, configuring network connectivity, and Entra ID joining a device. The only requirement for using a provisioning package is the device you're installing it on needs to be running Windows Pro, Enterprise, or Education Edition of Windows 10 or 11, and packages also work with Windows on ARM and Teams rooms on Windows systems such as a Surface Hub. In this first video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about provisioning packages and what they're capable of. Then in part two, I'll walk through how to create a package from scratch, which will include both simple and advanced configurations. And in the last video, I'll show you how to verify your package installed successfully and properly apply the customizations you made to the machine. So to get started, what is a provisioning package? A provisioning package is a single file that includes a set of customizable Windows settings and configurations. And when you install a package on a Windows machine, it applies these customizations locally to the device. Now to build a package, you use a free tool from Microsoft called Windows Configuration Designer where there are hundreds of different settings you can customize, like naming the PC, installing certificates, and you can even run commands in PowerShell scripts. Once you finish customizing your package, Configuration Designer will export it in the .ppkg format. And from there, the package is ready to be installed on a PC, either during the initial out-of-box experience using a USB drive, or it can be installed through the desktop. Now, there are countless ways packages can be helpful in how you deploy, manage, and customize Windows systems, but to highlight some of the main benefits and features, provisioning packages can reduce or completely eliminate the number of steps needed to initially set up a Windows machine. And if you're not using an MDM provider, packages offer a way to locally manage device settings and policies. These can also be helpful in that they'll allow for remote or non-technical users to provision their own machines using a package by following some simple instructions. And one of the best things is you can use the same package to provision multiple devices, so you're not needing to create a separate package for each device you're wanting to provision. For this video series, I want to focus on how you can use a provisioning package to fully automate the Windows out-of-box experience at scale in an enterprise environment. But no, the content I'll be covering also applies to any type of package you want to build. So in terms of automating the Windows out-of-box experience, what I mean by that is having the ability to fully provision a device from where it's sitting at Ubi to it being ready for an end user to log into it without any manual intervention other than inserting a USB drive into the machine and booting it. Let's look at an example of how provisioning packages can do this. Let's say you want your package to configure a device to authenticate with an 802.1x wired network, and then use that connection to Entra ID join the machine. Let's take a look at this in action. Here I've got a brand new Windows machine and a USB drive that I've already copied a package onto. After inserting the drive into the PC, Windows automatically detects the package and begins installing it. The first thing it's doing is naming the PC. From there, the package installs a root, intermediate, and client certificate, and as part of that, the system restarts. And then it adds a wired network profile, which Windows then uses to automatically authenticate with my wired network, and as a last step, the package Entra ID joins the device using a provisioning command. After setup is complete, we're left at the sign-in screen where a user can then log in and start using the PC. Now, some of you may be thinking this is great, but why would I use a provisioning package if I'm already onboarding machines using Windows Autopilot? One of the main requirements for Autopilot is the device you're provisioning needs internet access. Now, for this example, I wanted to demonstrate how provisioning packages can be used in conjunction with Windows Autopilot. So all I've included in this particular package is the wireless network profile for my Wi-Fi network. And then I'm using a provisioning command to reboot the system. Let's take a look at this in action. After inserting the drive into the PC, Windows should then automatically detect the package and then begin installing it. And from there, it connects to my wireless network, it'll install day one updates, and then Autopilot will take over and finish provisioning the device. 
Now, I hope these two examples help showcase how provisioning packages can be used to streamline and automate Windows provisioning. And remember, these are much more capable than what I've shown here. And if you're wanting to learn how to create one of these packages yourself, make sure to watch part two of this video series where I'll walk through how to create one from scratch, which can be used to fully automate the Windows first run setup experience. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.